Okay, I'm really happy. Finally, I got the time to uh, to proceed with part two of my review. So once again, uh, this is the BP bag, and then we have the uh, Fusion. So the last time I, my video got cut off, I was using the um, the Mark II 5D Mark II camera, and somehow it got cut off, and I don't even know about it. Anyway, uh, let me finish the, the video. Um, so I, I think I finished number 17, which is uh, I do not buy any bag uh, with no leather strap. So leather strap is one of the requirements for me. Uh, These bags are not cheap, $300, $400. At least give me a leather strap. So that's requirement, part of requirement there. Uh, number 18, uh, I do not buy bags with no good uh, warranty. Uh, both of them has excellent warranty. Anything wrong with this, I send this back. They will definitely uh, replace, uh, repair, or basically send me a voucher for the same uh, retail value of the bag, which is awesome. Uh, so this one, VP, also the same. If anything problem, I just email Dustin, uh, and he will take care of me. Either replace, repair, or simply uh, get me a new one. So I'm pretty sure none of this will have problem. So that's number 18. Number 19, the locking mechanism. Uh, basically, I don't want anything too complicated, meaning open and close should be within 10 seconds, you know. When you carry your bag, you want to be able to open it with two hands, get the stuff, and close it right away. Uh, same for the fusion. You can pretty much one hand operation, open it, get your stuff, and I simply <laughs> For the ease of use, I simply just lock it up like that. I don't even close the, the zipper. So everything too complicated, too bulky, too much uh, thinking involved, I, I do not prefer. So anything should be done within 10 seconds. That's my requirement there. Okay. Uh, number 20, avoid any trendy material or color. I know people love Lion, Ballistic Lion and all that, but Canvas or leather, you can never go wrong. In 20, 30 years, it will still look uh, better. Uh, it, it, will, it will age better. It will look uh, cooler. But ballistic lion and all that stuff, you, you, you rip a hole in it. It's kind of difficult to fix it and still maintain that vintage look. You know, It seems like you're, you're, you're a homeless person or something with a, with a broken, dirty lion bag. So, but with leather and canvas, it will always look good. So that's my preference. Uh, number 21, avoid bags with no internal compartment. Uh, I don't like to buy a bag with absolutely no internal compartment. So both um, the VP bag with lots of room and let me see, make sure it's okay. With lots of uh, pockets and the computer compartment. And I feel like I can really organize my stuff in it without, you know, buying a lot of pouches and organizer. It's a waste of money. And uh, the build some bag also. So you can totally uh, open it and you will see you have two uh, compartments for laptops. All the um, pockets. I, I, to be honest, I don't like the fuse and pocket as much compared to the VP one, it's a little too big and not enough structure. It's, I feel like it can be done uh, better with more solid material rather than just cloth, but it's just me being picky. Uh, okay, so in comparison, I do have a bag with no internal compartment. All right, this one, it, okay. So, you can see, this one looks good, Italian leather, but when you open it, it's all empty. <laughs> it's, you have to buy, you know, your laptop organizer and all the little pocket organizer, it's just a, it's just a pain. I don't, I don't enjoy it. I don't want to waste money doing that and if I don't have to. So no, no. No compartment, internal compartment is a big deal for me. Uh, number 22, I prefer leather bag with no leather origin. Right, so when I buy all this uh, briefcase and 
uh, bags. I like to have. I like to know where the leather is coming from. Please tell me. Is it whatever tannery is coming from? Is it genuine uh, full grain leather? Tell me more about it. Don't just keep me in secret. So I definitely prefer that. Why? Uh, I don't want anything from a a country of uh, I I I actually don't want to buy from. I don't like anything to come from China. So I do not buy stuff from China. So let me know where the letter is coming from. Is it Wiccan Cray, Horwin, or um, Herman Oak, or some UK bridal letter company? Let me know, you know. Don't keep it a secret. It's not like I'm stealing your information. I just want to know where the stuff coming from. So I, I pay good money and I want to get the best. So that's the reason. Okay, uh, number 23. Avoid fixed strap. Well, I need my strap to be removable. There are so many situations where I simply tuck my uh, leather strap away because I just feel like, hey, it's, I don't, I, I'm not to commit to any event. I can just, you know, I don't have, to, I don't. It's not carrying a lot of stuff, so I can just carry it like that. It looks cool, so I, I, I prefer to have a leather strap that I can simply remove. Ah, no need to, uh, you know, carry it every single time. Give me options. Also, if something wrong with the leather strap. Uh, if I break it or if I uh, somehow uh, scratch it too badly, I can replace a new one. I don't have to buy a new, whole new bag. Um, it's easy for me. I just like to have a new strap. Number 24. Avoid chrome tan leather at all costs, i.e. saddlebag. Uh, I think people read my have watched my YouTube video knows I hate saddlebag. Why? Because they claim to have the best leather, but they don't. Uh, they use chrome tan, which is an inferior leather. It doesn't age well over time. It, even though if you think it is looking cool, it just scratches and marks that will deteriorate over time. So I do not like chrome tan. I buy vegetable tan. You know, people who know about leather will tell you uh, verse tan is the way to go, not chrome tan. So if in case you have doubt, please look at one of the videos by Jim, uh, by Jim. Jim talk about chrome tan versus uh, uh, vegetable tan in detail and he will tell you all about it and he's one of the, the, the coolest guy on earth when it comes to briefcase review okay uh, with that said number 25 avoid briefcase with no handle please if you buy a briefcase you got to make sure you have a handle there are many situations where uh, you're not using a shoulder strap and you actually need the, uh, the handle to get you through the different situation and scenario as example, when I go through the airport, I always need to make handle because I may be carrying, you know, a weekend bag or, or, or hand carry carry on on one side, and I just you know quick need to grab this. I cannot put it on my shoulder in time. I I just need to have a handle that can allow me to uh, pick this up easily. For the ones I don't have the uh, handle like this one, when you're in the airport, the only way you can grab it is like this or like this which is a pain it's just a pain to uh to manhandle this thing so avoid definitely buy with a handle and last but not least don't buy bags with inferior strap and shoulder support right uh, the reason why i picked this one i look at the, all the detail pictures and i really love the strap it's very well made Double stitches, burnish on the side, and it feels really comfortable. Uh, when I first got this one from BP, it's already really soft, so I don't have to, you know, use my shoulder to soften it over three months. This comes really nicely, so I definitely prefer a shoulder strap like this. And it looks good. The leather is really nice. I think it's Horan uh, Dublin. Yeah. And the fusion one, when it comes, uh, is really substantial shoulder strap. Um, however, it's very uh, stiff, so it takes over, takes about three months at least to soften it. Um, people say why you prefer this, uh, the newer model. I know most people who are crazy about Fusion would prefer the uh, the Tallinn model, the older version with a cool pad, right? But personally, I just love to have a, a shoulder strap that is padded. Uh, this one's so much more comfortable than my, my older bag, which is this one. My older 
uh, carry on from Filson. The shoulder strap is not as good, have to be honest with you. I cannot really carry heavy stuff and feel comfortable about it. So this one is not comfortable and it when you put it on it actually kind of sag on you this one especially when it ages so much so so the so the pad and shoulder strap is definitely a important factors in determine what kind of bag you want uh right so in this case i do like to have shoulder bag sort of pad that is like padded and now after almost a year of use it's really softened up breaking it in really nicely. So this is my preference. Perfect shoulder strap. All right, so these are my 26 uh, keys on determine what kind of briefcase and bags I'm buying. I hope you like it, and I certainly hope when you evaluate uh, your needs or, or briefcase, uh, definitely think about all these 26 points. You may have more, you may have less, but at least I want to Point it out to you so you can evaluate uh, what is important for you and what is not. You know, for you maybe oh, I, as long as I have that top five cover, I'm good. But you know, just so you have more information. So one more time, uh, let me give you a side by side comparison between the BP briefcase and the 257. It's really similar in dimension. Maybe this one just slightly not as wide. This is wider. Okay, let's see. All right. I hope this video will help you. And if you have any feedback or concern, questions, anything, questions, let me know. And we can talk more about this back. Thank you.